Week two of the NFL is upon us. So we're going to recap my picks for week one, and then we'll do my predictions for week two. So for week one, I went nine and seven, which is kind of bad. I was severely disappointed with a lot of the teams who let me down. Let's start off with the Ravens and the Chiefs. The Ravens lost by a toe. It was a pretty somewhat okay game. The defense was on fire on both sides. Um, The Chiefs didn't look like the super team that they could be. But they do have Xavier Worthy, who's really fast. Then, the Packers lost to the Eagles. The Eagles had a rocky start, but they bounced back. Jordan Love got injured on the final drive of the, of the game. And the Packers, ooh, it might not be so good for them coming into the rest of the year. The Falcons lost to the Steelers. The Steelers, I said it would be a close game. They had their magical bullshit of Mike Tomlin and their elite defense. And they won off of kicking field goals. Justin Fields did what he had to do. Uh, He started quarterback, not Russell Wilson. The Bills beat the Cardinals. They had a rocky start, but they bounced back. That was my first win I got. Then the Bears beat the Titans. It was a stupidly close game, but the Bears' defense did what they could. Caleb Williams did not have a good game, we'll say. The Texans beat the Colts by two points. Very close. Anthony Richardson looked really good, even though he only had nine completions. But they were... he was He's good. Anthony Richardson's good. I'm excited to see more from him this year. The Dolphins beat the Jags on a field goal um, as the seconds were winding down. They looked, they looked a little iffy in the beginning, but they bounced back. The Bengals lost to the Patriots. Uh, the Patriots had a pretty surprising outing. The Saints mildly whopped the Cardinals 47-10. to Derek Carr threw three touchdowns and 200 yards. Alan Kamara had a rushing touchdown. And there were, I think, two interceptions and a fumble recovery by the Saints defense on the Panthers offense. Bryce Young looked bad. Uh, it's not going to be a good season for the Panthers, I can tell you that. The Giants lost to the Vikings in a very disappointing fashion. Sam Darnold lit it up. On the Vikings and Daniel Jones does not look good. I'm sorry. The Broncos lost to the Seahawks. That's very funny to see. Bo Nix didn't have the best start. And Geno Smith, you know, lit them up. The Raiders lost to the Chargers. That was uh it was that was a very boring whatever game. Uh the defense did their best, but the Chargers had some pretty big run plays, and Justin Herbert didn't get to, you know, throw deep bombs like he usually likes to. Some short passes but it worked out for them the bucks beat the commanders and baker mayfield threw for four touchdowns he's going to be really good this season the cowboys molly whopped the browns 33 to 17 they had a good defense Dak got paid he did what he had to do deshaun watson looks bad the lions beat the rams in a very competitive sunday night football game it was a little boring first quarter but the second half it really picked up It was a very strong defensive game at the beginning. The Rams looked really good without Aaron Donald. And then, oh yeah, also uh, the the Lions. Wow, they're really fun. Really, really fun. They're going to be a really fun team to watch this year. And then the Niners beat the Jets 32-19. Like I predicted, Aaron Rodgers had a few drop passes from his receivers, but he doesn't look bad. I th- I think he might have a, a good season, but as of now, the Niners look like the best team in football. Christian McCaffrey was out, their backup running back. He did a hell of a job. He looked phenomenal out there. So the Niners are gonna, going to be a very strong team this season. I hate to say it. So now let's move on to my, my picks for week two of the NFL. Starting off on Thursday Night Football, we have the Bills at the Dolphins. I'm going to choose the Dolphins for this. And it's weird because they haven't beat the Bills in a while. But the Bills had a rocky start. The Dolphins did too. Even though Josh Allen came back and had four total touchdowns, I think the speed from Tyreek and the Dolphins are going to overcome the Bills. Um... That's just, I think it's going to be an upset. I think, uh, from the looks of it, more people are choosing the Dolphins than the Bills. But we'll see tomorrow or today because when this video will be uploaded. But I think it's going to be an upset because I think people are more high on the Bills. You know, they had that big comeback against the Cardinals. And 
Josh Allen is doing all he can because he's a really damn good quarterback. But I just think the Dolphins are going to come out guns blazing and they're going to shut down the Bills. Then, starting on the Sunday games, we got the Saints at the Cowboys. Now, these are the two teams that scored the most points, I think, from week one. The Saints, 47, and the Cowboys, 33, I think. Maybe the Niners scored more than the Cowboys. But initially, I had chosen the Cowboys to win because that defense is really good. And Dak is a very solid quarterback. But then I remembered, hey, Derek Carr beat the Cowboys a few years back. But that's not it. Brandon Perna did the curse wheel, and it landed on the Cowboys to lose. So solely on Brandon Perna, I'm going to choose the Saints. And if, you know, the Cowboys win and the curse wheel didn't work, I'm going to be very upset. But in all seriousness, this is going to be a very fun game to watch. And this will ultimately prove the, 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 the standard for both of these quarterbacks. Are they... Are they going to be the team that people think they're going to be? Or are they going to sputter out? Because those defenses look strong. Those offenses can score. Derek Carr looked really damn good on the game. But it was just against the Panthers. The worst team in football. And the Cowboys looked really damn good. But it was against the Browns. One of the worst teams in football. But we'll just have to see with this matchup on Sunday. I'm going to choose the Saints. I think it's going to be a very close game, and I think it's going to be a very fun game to watch. The Cowboys might have the better defense, but I think the speed from Rashid Shaheed and Derek Carr, I think that connection is going to be the biggest deciding factor. And the run game from Alvin Kamara. The offensive line looked pretty good. They only gave up one sack. I didn't see much of the Cowboys game. I just saw the end, and I saw how bad the Browns looked. But I'm going to choose the Saints to, to win. Then we're going to move on to the Lions and the Bucks. Bucks at the Lions. I'm going to choose the Lions. I think this is going to be one of the best games of the week. Solely because of how explosive these two teams looked. Baker Mayfield going off against Jared Goff. This is going to be a very fun game. Um, I didn't see much of the, the Bucks defense. But that offense, man. Baker Mayfield with four passing touchdowns. That's really damn good. And the Lions offense, that run game is really good. And they're very imaginative on their offense. But that defense is pretty damn good too. They had a good lock on the Rams for a while. So I'm choosing the Lions to win. But it could go either way. I think it's very close. These are two pretty damn good teams from the looks of it. Then we got the Colts at the Packers. And I think without Jordan Love, it's going to be pretty cut and dry. Malik Willis, I think, is going to be starting for the Packers. He's out for about three to six weeks, but it could arrive sooner. But the Colts looked really good. I just don't think that quarterback play from the Packers is going to be enough to stop Anthony Richardson and the Colts. Uh, It's pretty quick on that. I'm not sure about what these two teams can do, really. I didn't watch them much. But I'm just just going to say the Colts. Then we got the Jets at the Titans. Uh... From what I saw from the Titans and Bears games, it looked kind of sloppy and boring and very whatever. Um, The quarterback for the Titans threw a pick six to basically lose the game. Uh, He did what he could to try to keep the play alive, but he just stupidly threw the ball. And um, while he was being being sacked, he threw the ball. So um, I think it's a pretty clear cut and dry. Jets are going to win. They look like the better team. If the receivers don't drop their passes, if Lazard doesn't drop his passes, he had one drop pass. But he also had a, a touchdown on a free play that the Jets had from an offsides on the defense on the defense of the Niners. Um, Aaron Rodgers, he doesn't look bad, but the Niners' offense is just was just too damn good, and they the Jets' offensive line did their best. I didn't see a whole lot of pressures on Rodgers, but he did release the ball pretty quick. And that's going to be their saving grace. Being able to release the ball pretty quick and then on the off chance, just launch it deep. I'm not sure if the Titans' defense is that good. Probably not, but Jets are going to win. It's no no surprise there. Then we got the Niners at the Vikings. Niners, come on. Sam Darnold looked, from what I saw, pretty good. But the Niners are just too damn good and the Vikings don't really excite me. I'm sorry, that's it. Niners are going to win. Then we got the Seahawks at the Patriots. I think this is going to be another pretty close game. I'm picking the Patriots for this. 
I didn't see much of the highlights, but it was pretty surprising that they beat the Bengals. Joe Burrow looked a little iffy, apparently. And the Seahawks, they looked pretty good. But I think the Patriots are going to upset the Seahawks just because. Just because. this It's not based on anything, really. It's not based on anything I'm going to pull from stats or whatever. I just think the Patriots are going to come and upset. I think Gerard Mayo is going to have a strong start for coaching. People driving. Um, yeah, I just think it's going to be an upset. This is the upset of the week. Patriots are going to beat the Seahawks. Even though the Seahawks looked pretty solid against the Broncos. Then we got the Giants at the Commanders. Uh, apparently, Jaden Daniels looked pretty good for the Commanders. I didn't see much of that. But the Giants were awful. They were awful. They scored the least amount of points in all of week one, from what it looks like. Yeah, no. They didn't even score a touchdown. They are they are going to be really damn bad this season. And, yeah, that's basically it. Commanders are going to win. Then we got the Chargers at the Panthers. Another pretty cut and dry one. Chargers are going to win. They're the more well-rounded team. The Panthers are garbage. I'm sorry. <laughs> they might go 0-17. It doesn't look so hot for the Panthers. Oh, God. Ugh. It's going to be bad. Then we got the Browns at the Jags. Another pretty cut and dry game. The Jags. They had a pretty strong start against the Dolphins. They didn't do much in the second half. The Browns are just... They, they looked bad. If you saw the game... When the Cowboys mollywopped them. Deshaun Watson doesn't look like he's all there. It looks bad. They're going to lose. They might have a good defense, but no. Um, Trevor Lawrence is going to, I think, mop the floor with them. Jackson win. Then we got my Raiders take my Raiders taking on the Ravens. I'm going to choose the Ravens to win. I want the Raiders to win. I just don't think it's going to happen. You know why? They didn't. It's the offense. Their defense looked really damn good against the Chargers in the first half. They had them on lock, really. But that the quarterback play, the offensive line, it's 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 not good. Gardner Minshew didn't look bad. He just needed more time, and the offensive line needed to do better on the run game because Zamir White didn't have that good of a game as a running back. Um. And when the offensive line, you know, can't block for the running back, we're going to rely on throwing passes. But we're going to rely, and because the offensive line won't be able to protect that well, we're going to have to resort to throwing, to throwing shorter passes. And then that's basically all we had. We didn't have that many big throws. Whether it's O'Connell or Minshew, it's that offensive line that needs work. But I believe in Antonio Pierce and the defense. I think the defense is our best part of the, the team. And he's a defensive-minded coach. So that's why the defense is really locked in. It's the quarterback issue. On the other side of the Ravens, they had so many opportunities to take out the Chiefs. And Lamar Jackson, he had a few uh-ohs against the Chiefs. He could have thrown the ball to certain receivers. He could have He could have ended the game a few plays earlier while they were in the red zone. But he just... He threw the pass weird. The receiver would, wouldn't have been able to correct his body to catch the ball. So, unfortunately, well, I mean, I'm not done yet. Lamar Jackson, he did most of the running. And Derrick Henry didn't get a whole lot of touches, but he did get a touchdown. So good for him. But it's interesting because that Ravens offense didn't look super explosive. They had a few good plays, and Lamar Jackson uh, extended a lot of those plays on his feet. But I'm sure the rust is going to break off of him, and he's going to have a pretty good game against the Raiders. Even though that defense is strong, I just think they're going to find a way to get around that. And our offense, uh, I'm not sure if our offense is going to do enough or do much at all. So sadly, I'm choosing the Ravens to win. I want the Raiders to upset. I just don't see it, unfortunately. Then, moving into the 1 o'clock games, we got the Rams at the Cardinals. The Cardinals had a pretty good start against the Bills, but I didn't see much of the highlights from it. I didn't see much from the Cardinals side. So what I can say is that the Rams looked really damn good against the Lions. That was a really good Sunday night football game. I remember saying I thought it was a weird matchup, 
but I totally forgot that Matt Stafford and Jared Goff used to be on each other's teams and yada yada. I forgot all about that. I thought that was old news. Um, and then I for- also forgot that it was a playoff game from last season. But what I'm going to say is that the Rams look really damn good. Without Aaron Donald, that defense still was pretty damn good getting a lot of pressures on the Lions. And Matthew Stafford and Cooper Cup, that connection's great. It doesn't look like Nakua might play. He might be questionable. I'm not sure if he's out. I might have seen something about it. I just can't remember. But that connection with Cup is what's keeping that offense as explosive as it is. And there's and Matthew Stafford can sling the ball around to a bunch of different receivers. He's really good at that. It's going to be a pretty, pretty fun game. I think the Rams are going to take it. Then we're moving on to the Steelers at the Broncos. This is funny because Russell Wilson is letting the Broncos down yet again because he most likely will not play as he's dealing with an injury. He didn't play in week one. Justin Fields played. It was a very sloppy and boring game, but Justin Fields made critical throws in the times that he needed to. And that Steelers defense is just really good. So I'm choosing the Steelers to win. The Broncos, I didn't see much from it. And apparently Bo Nix didn't have a a really good um, opening, a really good debut. And just because of the experience and just because Justin Fields knows how to extend plays, he might be a little more comfortable in that Steelers offense. I, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to choose the Steelers to win. It might be a sloppy game, but hopefully we'll see a touchdown out of the Steelers finally. Then we got the Bengals at the Chiefs. Clear, cut, and dry Chiefs. Chiefs are really dominant. From what I saw, the Bengals in a look so hot. Struggling against a very young Patriots team, from what I can tell. And uh, they're the Chiefs, man. Come on. They're going to win. Uh, even though they didn't look super dominant or and super strong against the Ravens, I just, I just, come on. Patrick Mahomes. Then we got the Bears at the Texans. Clear, cut, dry Texans. Come on. What are you going to say? CJ Stroud. He looked really damn good against that game against the Colts. A very competitive game, might I add. And the Bears, no. I got a buddy who's a Bears fan. He commented on my last video said, Hey, don't you think the Bears going because the Bears? And they, they, they won because the Bears. <laughs> but not against the Texans. Not against a very competitive team like this. You played the Titans. So, yeah. Caleb Williams, I don't think he's going to do much. Joe Mixon, I think he's going to have a really, really good game against the Bears. And CJ Stroud, of course. And Sunday night, this is your Sunday night football game? The Bears at the Texans? Come on. Uh, um, you're uh, The Bears are going to get embarrassed, I think. And I get it, the hype. Oh, Caleb, uh, Caleb Williams is going to save the Bears. This young quarterback. He didn't even throw for 100 yards. He threw for 98 yards. The Bears only had 149 yards of total offense from what I saw. And they still won the game because their defense. They didn't even score a touchdown. Um, their defense scored their touchdowns for them. Or I mean, Yeah, their defense scored their touchdown. They even scored an offensive touchdown. And then we got Monday night, the Falcons at the Eagles. It's going to be the Eagles. The Eagles came back from struggling a bit against the Packers. But that, that offense and Saquon Barkley... Saquon Barkley had a really good game against the Packers. Saquon had three total touchdowns, two rushing touchdowns and a receiving touchdown. He's going to make that Eagles offense really damn explosive, much more than it already has the potential to be, as much as it already is. And the Falcons, they didn't look so hot. I know they go, went up against Mike Tomlin and his magical bullshit and that strong defense, but Kirk Cousins didn't look super hot. He had a touchdown pass. I get it. He might have been a little rusty after the injury, but... I just can't see it against the Eagles. I think the Eagles are going to win. It Hopefully they, it, they won't start off on a rocky start and have to come back later on. But I do see this as a pretty big win that the Eagles are going to have. And they're going to advance to 2-0. So those are my predictions for week two. As of now, I am 9-7. and seven. I'm not doing so hot. Uh, a lot of teams let me down. And with this, I'm going with my gut a little on this week. But if I was really going with my gut, I would choose the Raiders to win this week. I just don't see it. Please prove me wrong, Raiders. So anyways, 
let's see how my picks look after this. What are your picks? Tell me what you thought. Um, tell me your picks in the comment below. We'll be and I'll be back with more weekly NFL reviews. I'm having a pretty good time doing this, and hopefully, I'll have this out before Thursday night football. My laptop was giving me issues. Um, the touch screen on my laptop was going all bonkers, so I had to delay the video by a day. And yeah, uh, I got that settled out. And yeah, we're gonna do these weekly. I'm gonna have a lot of fun with this. And I'm doing very low effort. I'm just gonna have the 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 games right here, the picks that I'm screenshotting from the NFL Pickums thing on the fantasy football, whatever. Yeah, this is very low effort, but I just think it's fun. So tell me what your picks are. Tell me if you think I'm wrong or right or whatever, and I'll be back with more weekly picks like this. And Yeah, bye.